dynamics cosmology, spatial expansion causes light velocity gravitational mass time to occur. Cosmology time is force is the four-dimensional dynamic cosmology that gained insight into the cause of light velocity gravitational mass time. Explains the spatial principle observed as a universe in which the finite space area infinitely spreads to individual observers. This file is a summary of the points to introduce in national languages. Image of gravity and time. When we shoot with the camera, we set the fast shutter speed for those with fast movement. Still subjects express time as blur. Even though it is a still image, the event cannot be confirmed without the thickness of the time during which the flow of time is recorded. We imagine the scenery where all movement stopped when time stops. However, without the energy of time, the movement of the atom stops and the space itself disappears. It will not be possible for light to be light or substances to maintain its form. When scientists think about gravity and time issues I would like to explain from the macro universe image to the micro elementary particle world with one theory. However, it is not necessarily that these things constituting time and gravity are sized. First of all I wondered, do not you think that it is unnatural that the light emitted from the light source can suddenly become light speed? It seems possible if a system that carries photons in space is incorporated. If the space is expanding, does the density decrease with gravity and time? Is the decay of temporal energy balanced by the decline in time operation speed? The manner in which time energy works is like a belt conveyor that carries elementary particles that are moving at the light speed. The photon on the belt conveyor is not the acceleration movement but the light speed at that moment. Assuming that time is a system that works like a wave and moves elementary particles, we think that light and particles will travel in space with the wave of this time. Since all particles are affected by time, there is no stop, light or particles. The energy of time is the force that creates the separation between the particles and supports the existence as a substance. The space range that we can observe. The actual universe is an independent universe whose relationship with the Big Bang has already been lost but what we see is information on the light coming along the surface of the water droplet. Shaped continuous time surface. This is observed from the past to the present like a multiple exposure photo. This information of light includes things other than visible light such as infrared rays. Even Big Bang cosmology will cause logical contradiction unless you assume space before the Big Bang. It also defines that the energy of the initial explosion is expanding the universe to this day. But recent observations have confirmed that accelerated expansion is occurring, and the mechanism that is creating this accelerated expansion is currently unknown. Creation of a space map, universe spreading like a wave, although this cosmic figure is drawn as a two-dimensional model. It can be seen as a three-dimensional plus time-expanding universe model of time as a rotating body on the vertical axis or as a donut-shaped expanding universe model like pipe smoke. Explanation of space chart It is a bird's eye view of the entire universe from the outside showing the expansion of 13.8 billion years and the route of light reaching the Earth. Light reaches the Earth along a water drop-like surface continuous time surface. The interior of the water droplet shape is the part which was the root of light of the past. Expansion of our universe starting from the Big Bang in the universe is expressed as figures from S1 to S7. The interval of concentric circles is 2 billion years and the present universe is the seventh one, so it will be 14 billion years. The reach limit of the light shown in the figure is the range that can confirm the existence of this outer space. This outside is not our space-time because it is the space of the universe's container. This is an image of something flying around in the universe's container colliding and becoming a Big Bang. It is a model that can explain Big Bang inflation that started from a small point easily. Energy chunks fluttered in the area of the cosmic container. This collided with each other and destruction started. 
the point of destruction is the point. This is destruction transmitted at high speed which started from one point like the destruction of the windshield of the car. The material is originally glass. So it does not mean that it originated from nothing. Big Bang is the expansion of space that diffuses at light speed like fireworks. Expansion is light speed. But other than photons is left in expansion because it cannot ride on the expansion of the space. Something like this stranded stresses gravity, mass and time. The expansion of the light originating from the Big Bang has now reached 13.8 billion light years. There is an area of light on the outside. We believe that there is a substance world exploded and diffused inside of it, and further the inside is a huge void. The space-time we are observing is information on light coming along a continuous time surface. In this space-time we can observe another space-time sky by moving observation point. Space is a space, but it seems to be infinite to the observer. Space-time structure, past spiral structure and future conical structure, if the length of the spiral curve is 13.8 billion light years. The actual light path becomes the hypotenuse of the isosceles triangle formed by the real space distance and the time distance. So the actual radius of the universe is 138, square root 2 e equals 9.7 billion light years and the expansion speed is it is 70% of light speed. Since the actual radius is 9.7 billion light years, the great circle of the spherical universe is 2 by 97 x pi equals 61 billion light years. This is the size when going round the universe sphere. The spread of light that began with the Big Bang has continued for about 13.8 billion years. That is the age of the universe and the universe radius are equal. We call the space-time range of this wave universe observable as the universe. This observable spatio-temporal range is different from the actual universe ring direction, because it is a past recorded image. In the past it is about 13.8 billion years back. But the universe of the same age cannot be seen at all. The spatio-temporal space where we can travel at a speed of 20% to 30% of the light speed is the range indicated by the future space-time cone. In this figure it is a cone that revealed the future after 14 billion years. This is space when 28 billion years passed from the Big Bang. If it can move at the light speed, the apex angle of the cone is 90 degrees. There are countless worlds of the same principle even if it is not a high dimensional space or a multiple dimensional space. Please see the left figure. I wrote an observation point on the upper right side of the left side of the space map I explained so far. Both of these observation points are present in the actual outer space which is 13.8 billion years old from the Big Bang, but the light of the same age cannot be confirmed mutually. And there are a lot of such Big Bang universe in the vicinity. Although there is the possibility that there is a planet like this Earth in this separate space, neither going nor information arrive. If you anticipate the arrival of an alien, it is highly likely that you are coming from this different space-time. But in that case it is impossible unless it is a space navigation that can move instantaneously. What makes time, a system that carries light, the space around us is made of oxygen atoms and nitrogen atoms, but the space between these atoms is also a vacuum space. This vacuum space is continuous with the vacuum of the universe. Since the outer space is expanding at the light speed, photons without mass that are separated from the substance seem to diffuse at the light speed as seen from the observer as it is directly influenced by the expansion of the space. Also stars and galactic desks and chairs are swollen relative to the Big Bang coordinate system in a state of being lumped because they are mutually connected by gravity. Why is photon placed in space dragged by space expansion? Vacuum energy is the force which accelerates expansion of the universe against gravity. Vacuum is a world in which virtual particles are born and disappeared when viewed in Planck size because this perannihilation is constantly being repeated. Energy cannot take a certain value and is fluctuating.
This fluctuation is the root of vacuum energy. As the universe expands and the density of the material decreases, the gravity decreases. However, since the vacuum increases by the extent of the expansion of the universe, the strength of vacuum energy does not change. As a result, the universe is expanded at an accelerated pace with relative dominance over gravity. Vacuum energy is also said to be negative energy repulsion because it has the effect of reversing the space against the gravity. Although it was thought that there is nothing space. In fact this space is filled with vacuum energy and photons are observed as the light velocity is dragged by expansion of the space-like particles floating in solution. Since the inflated state can be thought of as a natural state in accordance with the law of inertia, since the massless photon is the same movement as the expansion of the space, it is observed as a light speed is seen from a staying in the space. Hubble Ultra Deep Field The search area is about 1 degree of the area of the scales. It was carried out from September 24, 2003 to January 16. 2004 using a microscopic astronomical camera and an infrared camera, however, actual observation days are 11.5 days. In the obtained image, more than 10,000 galaxies showing a redshift Z equals 3, about 11.7 billion light years, or more are also displayed. And Z equals 6 to 7, from about 8.89 billion light years about 1.36 billion light years, galaxies were also reflected. Also, images of various strange galaxies mixed with ordinary spiral galaxies and elliptical galaxies were obtained. There is no origin direction of the Big Bang in the universe. It is thought that even if you shoot any direction, it will be similar Big Bang image. This picture is in the range of angle of view about 1 degree, but in reality the small universe in the early years of the Big Bang has been magnified and projected on the whole sky. It is strange because the enlarged projected universe is being projected with such a density. There are multiple light paths connecting the early universe and the Earth in the meridian direction of the universe. As a result, it seems that we are observing the same place in various directions and in various times. Otherwise the initial universe being magnified and projected on the whole sky will not look this dense. Bubble structure From this Hubble Ultra Deep Field image it seems that the galaxy array has features like a bubble structure. I think that it is not known unless the shape of the universe is determined whether it is actually such an arrangement or how it looks. Three coordinate axes converge to one. The Big Bang universe appears to have three coordinate axes converging to one. Does it seem that the coordinate axes of the three dimensional space are extending toward the Big Bang? The coordinate axis connecting the Big Bang from the coordinate origin is the fourth time axis. Therefore, since the Big Bang, the coordinate system itself expands to be considered the current universe. The acceleration of the expanding space is observed as gravity. It is thought that expansion of the space is also expanded through the atomic lattice of the substance. However, since the expansion speed varies depending on the material density, acceleration space bending, occurs in the expansion of the space. It is thought that this acceleration is observed as gravity. The speed of light is slower in substances than in vacuum. The phenomenon of refraction occurs because the speed of light varies depending on the medium. The absolute refractive index of a substance is defined as the value obtained by dividing the speed of light in vacuum by the speed of light in the substance. For example, the refractive index of water is about 1.33 at the wavelength of the visible light region and the light speed in the vacuum is about 300,000 km per second. So the light speed in water is about 226,000 km per second. Wikipedia The speed of light in water, about 226,000 km per second, immediately becomes the light speed in the air, about 300,000 km per second. The speed change is discontinuous and it is difficult to understand. Is it okay to think that the speed change of expansion occurs in the atomic level region? 
Gravity generated at each atom may be summed up and observed as the gravity of the object. What is expansion of space? The air around us is composed of oxygen and nitrogen atoms. Between oxygen and nitrogen atoms is filled with vacuum. Similarly inside the atomic structure, there is a vacuum between the nucleus and the electron. Expansion of space is the expansion of these vacuum spaces. Einstein's famous formula e equals mc squared says that the product of the material in the square of the light velocity is energy. But what happens in space is the opposite. In other words, energy has changed to substance and light speed expansion rate. And now it is considered that the expansion of the universe is accelerating because the substance is changed to energy like the nuclear energy of a star at the supernova explosion. Big Bang model which started from one point when expansion of outer space was confirmed. The scientists traced back to the time of space expansion and reached the idea that the Big Bang started from one point. However, it is supposed that the Big Bang universe started from the atomic size of one atom, so logic cannot be explained because the logic collapsed. Destruction of the windshield starts from a point that is the first trigger. That is a point where a pebble struck the glass. The world in which glass cracking is progressing is the space-time space of glass. So observing the beginning of the crack from the glass space-time will be observed as if it started from one point. Since I think that Big Bang theory has occurred since there is no existence, I cannot imagine Big Bang before. We cannot escape from the bounds of observed facts when we construct problems from observed facts only. If you do not think in the mind that there is vast natural nature offered outside our knowledge it will fit in the maze of thought. Humans may prefer complexity. But when the problem of natural science is elucidated, history shows that it was very simple and beautiful that anyone could understand. In the age when we thought that the revolution of the planet was a circular movement in the solar system from the paleontological theory to the ground motion theory, Kepler thought that it was an elliptical movement made the theory which was complex, complicated by a simple and beautiful theory. Light interference fringes, when a path that once merges again and then joins again is provided in a wave with the same phase as passed there through, interference fringes are generated. Thomas Young showed that light is a wave in an interference experiment using two slits utilizing this property of wave. What this experiment means is that, even quantities of quantum show the properties as waves. A double slit experiment is the first demonstration in the world that it does not require more than one particle to show the property as a wave that is. It shows the property as a wave even with a unit amount of quantum. It is an unresolved problem that light combines properties as particles and waves. But there is no contradiction that you have two properties if you think that photons are carried by expansion waves of space. Also, it is the same phenomenon that other elementary particles can fly in space with light speed, expansion speed of space, so there is no contradiction and the light speed is constant. As the law of conservation of energy is established, if you interpret E equals mc squared literally, energy is the product of material mass and the square of expansion rate. However, light speed c is considered to be the same as expansion speed. The three things that can be changed are c and m therefore, as the amount of substance decreases, the expansion rate becomes faster. Or as the substance amount increases, the expansion rate becomes slower. It seems that galaxies are distributed densely in the past space universe in a narrow space. As the universe expands its distribution density decreases and the expansion rate increases this is considered to indicate accelerated expansion of the universe. Considering a supernova explosion as a scene where substances convert to energy. Is it possible that the phenomenon that black holes swallow substances and kinetic energy is a scene where energy transforms into matter? A black hole in general relativity theory. It is defined as an area that cannot have a cause and effect relationship with other areas of the space-time sky. Black hole is not an explanation of the gravity field which cannot escape even light. 
I think that it is more appropriate to think that it is out of the space-time that can be observed because the time decline is large. Although I wrote as a decline in time, what actually happens in the black hole and its surroundings is that the inflation speed, light speed, is extremely slow. Therefore, it is the same meaning that the temporal decline and the expansion speed become extremely slow. In other words, expansion of the space is considered to be lost in the black hole. Expansion speed, light speed, equals operating speed of time c, t equals 1. This shows the formation of the principle of light speed invariance. The actual expansion rate, light speed, is different in the space between the inside of the material and in the vacuum. But the same result will be obtained when trying to measure the expansion rate, light speed, in every situation. If we consider the light velocity to be the photon carried in the expansion of the space, the light cannot exist if the expansion of the space disappears. Since the black hole is in a compressed state at ultra-high density, there is a possibility that it has no internal space. In that case the continuity of the space will be lost so you cannot do any observation. Regarding the time estimated by Einstein, in the strong gravitational field, as time goes slowly, it is thought that the expansion speed of the space is slow in the strong gravity field. Near the black hole, this is equivalent to slow operating time, so time goes slowly. In the accelerating flight rocket, as time goes slowly, in the accelerating flight rocket, the expansion speed of the space becomes relatively slow, so the time goes slower than the clock on the ground. I finally understood the inexplicability of Einstein's time by describing so far. Without the expansion of the space, the natural collapse of atoms does not occur and the atomic clock stops. Also, the photon on the expansion wave has zero time. I would like to think about basic things. Newton has kinetic energy K equals 1 half mv squared. Newton's total energy is E equals U plus KU is potential energy. Einstein made energy E equals mc squared. The expressions of the 2s are very similar, but C is a constant, light velocity, so energy is the substance mass. In Newton's energy formula, the value of k is negligibly small in real life. So E equals U equals M, that is, mass is the potential energy. I believe that the potential energy that this mass possesses is the potential that it possesses to the origin of the universe, that is, the state before the Big Bang. In other words, the substance mass is the total amount of energy distorting the space and a flow of energy occurs in the direction in which the distortion of the space is eliminated. Einstein's E equals mc squared, E energy m, mass, weight, c, light, velocity, time is force E equals md squared, E energy m, mass, total distortion of space, d, expansion rate of space, there is a difference in the concept of mass when comparing these two. In time is force. Material mass is the total amount of distortion of space so energy will be the amount saved as space distortion. I think you can understand why substance mass is equivalent to energy. Energy is a flow of energy in the direction that distortion which is distortion of space is resolved. Motion state and gravity field. The figure on the left is a schematic representation of the gravitational field of the stopped spacecraft. A spacecraft with no relative speed relative to the space is in a balanced state of gravity. In other words, as shown in the figure, the front, back, left and right springs are supporting the spacecraft with the same force. The figure on the right is a model of the gravitational field of the spacecraft performing accelerating motion. It is in a state of accelerating motion, A, against the space. In this state I think that you have undergone the force F to pull back the balance of the gravity around the spacecraft backwards. We thought that Einstein increased the mass of the rocket that accelerated. I thought that the distortion of space is eccentric in the acceleration direction and as a result I think that it receives the power to bring back. The gravitational distribution in the stationary state can be represented by concentric circles, but the inertial force on this concentric circle is considered to be the mass of the substance. 
It can be said that mass is the inertial force of space. If gravitational waves are present, there is a possibility that the distortion of the space compressed in the acceleration direction becomes a wave. If this is detected as a wave, is gravity oscillating in a state like a binary system of black holes rotating at super high speed? The gravitational waves were successfully observed on September 14, 2015 both in Livingston, Louisiana, USA, and two detectors in Hamford, Washington. As a result, black hole of 36 times of solar mass and 29 times of black hole combined. It became 62 times black hole and 3 times the gravitational wave energy and diffused at the light speed into outer space. This is a phenomenon in which energy becomes a gravitational wave separated from a substance and travels through space. This can be said to be an indirect proof that the space is the mediator that transmits the gravity wave and the cause of gravity is the acceleration of the space. For time is force E equals md squared d. Diffusion, Einstein's E equals mc squared is said to be the most beautiful expression in the natural world. However, we are not able to explain what the weight kilogram is artificially vague and what it is. Also light speed cannot explain why this is a function of energy. For time is force we have E equals md squared. In other words, it can be expressed by the total amount of space distortion x diffusion rate of space squared. This is very similar to Newton's kinetic energy formula K equals 1 half mv squared. I assume that the distortion shape of the space is a normal distribution. Normal distribution is the most important distribution in probability statistics. It is also called the Gauss distribution because it was introduced by the greatest scientist Carl Friedrich Gauss of the 19th century. Regarding the property of the probability density function of normal distribution, symmetrical, the center part is the highest and it goes down rapidly the farther away from the center. The graph is forever stretched and does not touch the horizontal axis. Distortion of normally distributed space we consider this energy to be energy, E equals md squared, by multiplying the distortion model of this normal distribution as the distortion model of the strain by the speed at which the strain diffuses to the total distortion. This can be imaged like a sandy mountain collapses by the potential energy possessed by each sand grain in the sand mountain. That is, a flow of energy occurs in a direction in which distortion of the space is eliminated. Expression of spatial distortion integral in normal distribution. Gaussian integral is the integral expressed by the following equation. It's known that this integral is square root pi as shown in the above equation. The energy expression of time is force is E equals md squared E. Energy. Square root pi. Mass total amount of distortion of space. Time is force is md. Expansion diffusion rate of space diffusion. When this is summarized in the form of E equals md squared, energy formula was derived. Rho is the spatial density constant. Spatial volume x spatial expansive diffusion rate squared x spatial density is considered an energy model that diffuses and frees space. Since this is the product of the square of the expansion and diffusion speed of space and the spatial density, it means that the expansion rate will increase as the space density in the universe decreases. This is the same result as the fact currently being observed. Important description so far. Dynamic cosmology The light speed at time is forces visualized photon on the expansion of the space and the plaque of the expansion rate of the substance in its surroundings was considered as gravity by the distortion of the space and the total amount of distortion of the space created by the substance's mass. Time is also the energy expanding space thereby creating a four-dimensional space-time. This four-dimensional space-time is the subject of this cosmology. The site that we can observe is like the history chronology written from Big Bang as a starting point to the continuous time axis to the observation point, Earth. In each era the light that went to the Earth traveled through the expanding universe and is now reaching 
It looks like it looks bent. But the light goes straight but because the universe is expanding and expanding it looks like a curved light path from the outside. Cause of light speed. Photons separated from the light source in the space expanding at the light speed seem to diffuse at the light speed as seen from the observer as it is directly affected by the expansion. Cause of gravity expansion of the space continues from the interior of the substance to the outer space. But the expansion rate changes inside the substance this is observed as gravity to us by the acceleration bending of the space. Cause of mass. Assuming that the derivative of the curvature of the space is gravity, it is considered that the integrated mass is the mass of the substance. Cause of time. Because expansion of space and flow of time are the same, c, t equals 1. We are felt that change of space and energy due to expansion is a flow of time. The retrograde speed of the galaxy indicates the expansion of the space. However, the expansion of the galaxy is not the same movement as the expansion of the vacuum space. Substances are constantly left out of space expansion. This marginal energy is gravity, mass and time. It is said to be a four-dimensional space by adding time to the three-dimensional space. But since the time and expansion are the same, the coordinate axis of the four-dimensional space can be thought of as a coordinate system represented by x, y, z, d, diffusions. Light speed the gravity mass time can be explained by expansion of space together with a physics problem. In other words, our world is not a static coordinate system but the dynamic coordinate system in which the coordinate system itself expands diffuses. Those with the smallest size, one dimension, like photons can proceed in one direction by riding on the waves of expansion. But there is no concept of unidirectional substances because the substance inside has three-dimensional space. Therefore, substances of size cannot ride on the wave of space expansion. I thought it was small enough to be strictly not a one-dimensional particle but a wave of expansion. Since stars and galaxies are mutually connected by gravity, it is thought that gravity, mass and time are acquired by the expansion energy of the space rather than moving due to expansion of the space. The flow velocity can be understood by measuring the speed of the leaves floating in the flow. To measure the expansion rate of the space you can estimate by measuring the particles carried by the wave of expansion. And I think that the speed is observed as the maximum speed in space. Konoha leaves on this water surface as a photon in outer space. I think that it is well understood in this model that the light speed is constant. Since mass is the inertial force of space in space, it is thought that it is born out of the interaction of space and matter, not the property of material. We regularly touch the expansion of space as the nature and speed of light. But we did not notice that this was the expansion of outer space. Although the kinetic energy of suspended matter in running water can be observed, the kinetic energy of transparent water cannot be visually observed. However, you can understand that most of the energy of running water is kinetic energy of water. Galaxy rotation and swirl are huge gravitational fields acceleration. Considering why this vortex occurs, it is thought that the expansion field of the space is disturbed by the influence of the stars in the galaxy, creating a spiral gravity source. The spatial field that forms this vortex is called dark energy or dark matter, which is considered space itself. So even looking for particles does not exist. This cosmology departed from a wonder of light speed. For that reason, we started with considering the behavior of photons that are quantum and finished to be able to explain the basic principle of the universe called light velocity gravitational mass time in a unified way. The theory behind this theory is called the space theory. I am wondering what this place is filled with and whether there can be a spread of space without anything. It is a feeling that it is something that is not a substance outside our concept if we explain briefly how to think contradictory existence that there is nothing space. Is this a Planck-sized particle? In the image of this particle, we will think about the space surrounding the particle again.
we must consider the concept of a field that is neither particle nor space. 1.3056 e plus 26 meters greater than 1 meter greater than 1 e 13 or 14 meters further 1.616 1 e 35 meters Planck length the size of the elementary particle that occurs when the atom of 1 e 1 3 or 14 meters is broken is unknown. There is a theory that it is not a size point particle and the theory that it is very small but it has a size. In the standard model. Elementary particles are treated as having no size point particle, and there is no inconsistency with experimental results at the present time. There is no hypothesis about the concept of space in a scale, Planck length scale, that is 15 digits or more smaller than the scale handled in the standard model. Summary In my theory of cosmology I define the container of the universe. It can be said that this has defined a range in a certain sense but as the universe is infinite, a borderline always arises somewhere. I explained the principle that a finite universe is observed as infinite size by defining an infinite size container. In other words, we were able to solve a finite universe paradox. I do not think that the past and the future are mixed in the four-dimensional space-time sky there is only the present time. There is information on the past that exists due to the past that exists as our memory and light arrives late. In addition, it is unlikely that the future will exist before it is made with something to be made. We cannot rewrite the past and we are not heading towards a definite future. An exact understanding of this space-time principle may be the most important for human beings. Thinking things in order, the world is very simple and there is almost no unknown thing. When I began writing cosmological theory I received a feeling of entering a vast unknown area. However, I noticed that there are very few known fundamental findings. As a result of organizing and rebuilding these, we were able to induce a simple and clear result which is unexpected. What kind of philosophy would you create if people realize the world is very simple? While I wrote this page I read a topic on cosmology. But many have a theory to converge on the spiritual world, spiritual healing spirit and God Buddha. I do not learn how to respond to the information society. It depends on the individual's qualities to guess and judge the intention of the information. So even if you consult a familiar person, you will not find a breakthrough as it is a residence of the same labyrinth. There are many words that drives fundamentalism. But everything is written in nature it is important to understand this obediently. Conclusion Description of dynamic cosmology Time is force I started thinking about what kind of explanation we can obtain when the structure of the universe is elucidated in the future. Newtonian dynamics, which formulates the nature of attractive force, can be understood by anyone who has learned. You can also convince confirming this phenomenon in real life. I think that there are very few people who can understand Einstein's theory of relativity as it is as a mathematical expression. I also cannot understand but I gained an understanding as I wrote a page about fragmented matter gravity effects and time wonders. In the age of Einstein there is no idea of the expanding universe so you can imagine how innovative the theory of relativity was shown in that expansion cosmology after Edwin Hubble, cosmic microwave background radiation age of the universe is 13.8 billion years large scale structure of the universe accelerated expansion of the universe these have been confirmed by the development of precise observation instruments. While loading these observation results it is believed that the cause of velocity is the cause mass of gravity what is time and what has reached a certain view on the structure of the universe. Observed as expansion. Time is force began writing from 2008. Initially I fell into Planck time and big number hypothesis and I could not find the exit. In January 2010 I created a cosmic chart and hardened the image. I thought that the light speed in this image was visualized space expansion, July 3, 2010. I also noticed that this acceleration 
which is derived from now and the acceleration is acting on the expansion of the space, is the cause of gravity, January 23, 2011. Based on these two ideas, expansion coordinate system cosmology was assembled. Although there is a theory of all things that integrates from the universe to the world of elementary particles, we cannot explain the cause of the light speed and gravity at present. When there is a substance there is distortion of space and this is supposed to be gravity. That is, the principal explanation is not made. Expanded coordinate system cosmology explains the principle of space without setting a special role for elementary particles and expects it to become a standard universe model. The current cosmology that mathematically developed has naturally entered high dimensional space and imaginary world as well. Even if it is mathematically beautiful and symmetrical, explanation that everyone can realize this real world is required. The universe principle is born by the free interaction of space. This understanding will release us from the labyrinth of knowledge. Thank you for reading to the last.